So Stephen, why did the club decide that they wanted a charity partner rather than a sponsor on the front of the shirts this season? So after the takeover was completed in July, uh, we had countless discussions internally, senior management and board level about what we wanted to do with the front of shirt partner because that's the main inventory item. Um, and it's fair to say we had a number of credible offers from um, commercial partners uh, that wanted to, to, to pay to be on the front of the shirt. And I think for us, um, we very much thank all of those partners and hope that we can work with them moving forwards. But we took the decision that we wanted to um, give something back to the community uh, and by gifting it to a charity uh, was something that we really thought was the right thing to do. And I think when we looked at that, we wanted to go for a national charity, but it was really key to us that we had a national charity that had a proven impact locally in Derbyshire and across the East Midlands. Um, and therefore, you know, we wanted to then use the power of our community trust and the other uh, community work that we do and the power of football and the power of sport to be able to, to, to move forward and bring that to life. So why did you choose the NSPCC? So we had a number of conversations with various charities, um, all of which would have been worthy recipients of this and we would have been extremely pleased to work with them. However, we've got to choose one. And I think for us, the NSPCC is a country's leading children's charity um, who've got a proven track record and impact on a local basis, but also do it across the whole of the country was, was, was key for us. Um, from a perspective of they've had a, over 130 years um, of working with, with children and, and looking out for children. Their tagline is, um, every childhood is worth fighting for. Uh, and I think we really agree with that. And I think the recent work that we've done with both the EFL and the FA on the Play Safe campaign uh, is testament to that. And I think this really gives us an opportunity to take that to the next level. Um, the work that we've done with our community trust, um, we hope to bring that into the mix as well. How else will the club be working with the NSPCC going forward? I think it's really early days. Uh, what we wanted to do is make sure we got the deal over the line because we want to use the platform of the Liverpool game um, to get that brand awareness out there and use that as a platform to really, really springboard from. Um, but there are ongoing conversations with uh, both football club staff, community trust staff and NSPCC staff around many ideas moving forwards. Um, and I think we look forward to uh, making sure that we can bring all of those to life and keep the supporters updated uh, as things progress. But the key thing for us is that this is not a short term partnership. We want to build a long term relationship with the NSPCC moving forwards.